let's come to gaganyaan now uh, did we all study gaganyaan at the time of preliminary examination yahan pe again we do not have to study every nitty gritty we should be able to define what gaganyaan is what its purpose is what its significance is and to achieve human space flight what are the things that we have done iska bhi wohi criticism hota hai ki why are we spending thousands of crore rupees on sending humans to space when we do not have money to feed everyone this was the reason why isro lagged behind and in fact in fact the father of india space program who is considered the father of india space program dr vikram sara bhai he also agreed with this argument in the beginning when uh, us and uh, russia they were planning they were uh, uh, making efforts to send humans to space he said ki right now that's not going to serve any purpose for us and that's why we did not emphasize on human space flights then but now our socio economic conditions have changed and we are making efforts to send humans to space we'll understand why it is important we'll come to that but start with what is gaganyaan it's a technology demonstration project why am i saying technology demonstration project because yahan pe na aisa the purpose is not to do a lot of experiment though we'll do some microgravity experiment but gaganyaan will be a technology demonstration project where we will demonstrate our ability to send humans to space and bring them back so gaganyaan is envisaged as a technology demonstration project to showcase human space flight capability by india under this isro plans to launch a crew of 3 members in low earth orbit for a 3 day mission and bring them back safe ab even if i had not written bring them back safely it is understood nahi it is understood ki wahan ja ke chhod to dena nahi hai le ke aana hai simple definition what is gaganyaan what is the purpose of देखो दिस इज वन डेफिनेशन बेस्ड इन टू यू कुड हैव स्टार्टेड विथ बैकग्राउंड बेस्ड इन टू यू कुड हैव स्टार्टेड विथ एट द डॉन ऑफ इंडिया स्पेस प्रोग्राम द फादर ऑफ इंडिया स्पेस प्रोग्राम विक्रम सारा भाई इस एग्रीड विथ प्रोजेक्ट लाइक गगनयान विच इज फोकस्ड ऑन सेंडिंग ह्यूम टू स्पेस बिकॉज एट दैट टाइम इट वॉज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टू फोकस ऑन दो प्रोजेक्ट जो सोशियो इकोनॉमिक नीड्स but with changes in the socio economic condition and advancement in science and technology indian space or in indian space research organization ya yeah, isro is focusing on sending to space under gaganyaan mission this is one way you can you can introduce your answer background based definition based data based you could have data based aap is tarah se kar sakte the so far only three countries have sent humans to space us ussr us russia and china india or isro is working to make india the fourth country to achieve this is another way in which you could have started your answer so ye kal hum discuss karenge when you will write answers and we'll discuss what are the different ways you could have uh, written your introduction we'll talk about these things too. बट गगनयान में विल वी बी एबल टू राइट अ गुड इंट्रो गगनयान को डिफाइन कर दो बैकग्राउंड बता दो और गिव सम डेटा दी सेट की भाई थ्री कंट्रीज हैव डन इट इसरो इज वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स मेकिंग इंडिया द फोर्थ कंट्री टू सेंड ह्यूम टू इंट्रोडक्शन अलग अलग तरीके से इंट्रोडक्शन ऑल ऑफ यू विल नॉट राइट द सेम इंट्रोडक्शन ऑल ऑफ यू विल राइट योर own you will develop your own way of writing introduction all of you like some of you may perceive ki definition is the best intro here some of you may feel ki if i start with background that is giving more weightage or more weight to my answer some of you may feel if i start with some data that will give us that may fetch us fetch me some more marks in intro only i'm showing my knowledge it's not asked which are the countries which have done it chandran ke case mein it was asked which are the countries which have done it so in your core part of your answer you will not deal with it hai na to intro mein hi bata diya ki bhai three countries have done it we are working towards making india the fourth country to do it 
यही बोलते हैं हम डीबीडी डेफिनेशन बैकग्राउंड और डेटा द वेज इन विच यू कैन इंट्रोड्यूस योर आंसर यू कैन डिफाइन यू कैन गिव बैकग्राउंड इट कैन बी हिस्टोरिकल बैकग्राउंड और समर बैकग्राउंड और कॉन्टेक्स्ट एंड डेटा बैकग्राउंड में करेंट कॉन्टेक्स्ट भी आ सकता है हिस्टोरिकल कॉन्टेक्स करेंट कॉन्टेक्स्ट एंड डेटा दीज आर द वेज इन विच यू इंट्रोड्यूस अर आंसर ओके नाउ सिग्निफिकेंस वाई ह्यूमन स्पेस फ्लाइट बिफोर गोइंग इन टू वॉट आर ऑल द थिंग्स दैट विल बी डूइंग इन दिस गगनयान मिशन वाई गगनयान मिशन इज इंपॉर्टेंट वाई गगनयान मिशन इज सिग्निफिकेंट वाई आर वी डूइंग इट फर्स्ट इज एडवांसमेंट इन स्पेस आर नेक्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट्स वुड बी अबाउट हैविंग आर ओन स्पेस स्टेशन सेंडिंग ह्यूमन्स टू मून एंड फॉर दैट फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी शुड बी एबल टू डू इज सेंड ह्यूमन्स टू स्पेस तभी तो स्पेस स्टेशन रहेगा नहीं तो इट विल जस्ट बी अ सैटेलाइट राइट तो इट इज फर्स्ट स्टेप टूवर्ड्स फ्यूचर space program why do we want to why do we have to make gaganyaan successful because it is the success of gaganyaan which will ensure that our plans over the next 10 15 years of different pro programs of different projects will be implemented bahut jaldi nahi aa gaye aap kuch kaam tha koi baat nahi padhne se important kaam tha गर्लफ्रेंड के साथ डेट पे जाना था नहीं उस फिर फिर कोई जरूरी काम नहीं बने है ना दे इज ओनली वन एक्सक्यूज फॉर विच आई कैन लेट यू कम लेट बाकी टाइम पे आओ ओके नहीं आई 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 टेल दिस टू एवरी वन टेल द टाइम यू आर थर्टी यू गिव अ लॉट ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंस टू योर पार्टनर गर्लफ्रेंड बॉयफ्रेंड आप थर्टी प्लस हो जाते हो मेरी उम्र में आ जाते हो तो आप समझते हो कि पेरेंट्स आर मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट तो उस टाइम आप में से जो थर्टी प्लस है वो अपने पेरेंट्स का एक्सक्यूज बना के लेट आ सकता है जो थर्टी से कम वाला है वो अपने बॉयफ्रेंड गर्लफ्रेंड का एक्सक्यूज बना के लेट आ सकता है बाकी लेट नहीं आओगे ओके तो फोन भी आप उठा सकते हो अगर गर्लफ्रेंड का हो थर्टी प्लस हो तो मम्मी पापा का ओके लेट्स कम टू तो वाई वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ ह्यूमन स्पेस फ्लाइट प्रोग्राम पहला सिंपल सा चीज की भाई This is a prerequisite for our future important programs. Be it sending humans to moon, be it having a space station. Prime Minister Modi have already set a target that uh, we should have a space station by 2035. Space station by 2035, we should be able to send humans there, no? So we have to have Gaganyaan successful way before that. We should be able to send humans to moon by 2040. Moon is how far away from Earth? 3.5 लाख किलोमीटर अवे 350 फिफ्टी किलोमीटर अवे भेज के वापस तो लिखिया ओनली देन विल यू विल यू बी एबल टू डू दैट तो वाई गगनयान इज इंपॉर्टेंट गगनयान इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इट विल बी द बेस ऑन विच आर फ्यूचर प्रोग्राम वुड बी डेवलप्ड फर्स्ट गगनयान इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ रिसोर्स आउटसाइड अर्थ एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट सम कंट्रोल ओवर दोज रिसोर्स वी शुड बी एबल टू सेंड ह्यूमन्स देर For example, moon is having a lot of helium three, which can solve the problem of energy on Earth in a very sustainable way. But for that, we'll have to send humans to moon. We'll have to claim have claim over that. China is doing it. Uh, USA is planning it. Artemis Accord me. USA is planning to send humans to moon. We should also be able to do that. So, उसके लिए पहले sending humans to space is crucial. Then more r&d in space when scientist will be in space when they will be in zero gravity they will be able to do micro gravity experiment which they cannot perform on earth for that reason it's important then advancement in science and technology dekho when we when we uh, develop a project like gaganyaan a lot of improvements have to happen in different areas for example we will see that our launch vehicle mark 3 lvm 3 और जी एस एल वी मार्क थ्री हैड टू गो थ्रू सम चेंजेस टू बिकम ह्यूमन रेटेड अब वो बन गया है एच एल वी एम थ्री एल वी एम थ्री था ह्यूमन रेटेड होने के बाद हम उसे बोल रहे हैं एच एल वी एम थ्री तो वी डिड एडवांसमेंट देयर सो दैट दैट रॉकेट विल बी सुटेबल फॉर टेकिंग ह्यूमन टू स्पेस राइट तो लॉट ऑफ 
scientific advancement takes is taking place just because of Gaganyaan, then it encourages scientific community. In 1960s and 70s, some scientists wanted that India should explore sending humans to space. And we said, no, we should not be doing it. This discouraged scientists, this demotivated them. India will not give us the same opportunity which US may be able to give, which Russia may be able to give. But when we are able to launch these kind of projects, more scientists are encouraged to stay back in India, to work in India, to contribute in India. Then technological spin off will benefit other sectors also. We have seen a question that UPSC had asked that the space sector of the civilian applications. So, a lot of things which we develop because of Gaganyan will have application in other sectors. Because in Gaganyan, what do we want to do? We want to send humans to space. They should be able to survive in that condition. So, a lot of equipments would be developed. A lot, some robots have been developed. All those may have different applications. Okay. In fact, using the previous programs of ISRO, we have had various socio-economic applications. For example, uh, lithium-ion batteries which we are using in buses right now, they were initially developed by ISRO for rockets. Uh, fire resistant chemicals that ISRO will be developing for human flights may also be useful in petroleum industry safeguarding workers from the fire accidents. Because when humans are being protected, when rocket is going through when or when uh, the Gaganyaan will eventually come back into earth through this atmosphere at a lot of uh, temperature outside friction ki wajay se, the outside temperature will be very high and still human beings are protected inside means we, we will be creating those material which will protect them. All those may have other societal applications as well. Then improvement in higher education, this, this will encourage more and more people to go for more and more institutions to go for space, science and technology. Jab mein, uh, when I was choosing uh, my B.Tech course, I could not find a single IIT, us time saath IIT hua karte the. I could not find a single IIT where astronomy mein kuch padhaya jata. Space, science and technology mein research ho raha. Ek bhi IIT mein nahi hota. So, IIT Bombay mein ek branch tha aeronautics engineer. But that was for airplane. I, I was confused ki wo shayad space sector ke liye hooga. Why? Because people are not interested, institutions are not interested. But these kind of missions would be able to help us achieve that. And finally, symbolism, soft power, great power status. If only three countries have done it and we end up doing it, we will be among the four countries in the world which have the capability of sending humans to us. So, dekho, yahan pe paas sare genuine dimensions. Hai. So, here if we have to write eight points, make sense. But when we have only four dimensions and we are in a repetitive way, mein language mein likhte ja rahe hai, that will not fetch you more marks. Are we able to understand this? Okay. Now, key components of human space, right? What are all the things that we are doing for making human space flight successful? Pahle ek human space flight center hai. It was established in Bangalore, the not very important, but let us come to vehicle. Our LVM-3 launch vehicle Mark 3 was human rated. Its various components were tested and modified in such a way that it will be safe for sending humans to space and thus it is now being called HLVM-3. The version that will be used for launching Gaganyaan is human rated LVM-3, HLVM-3. Then HLVM-3 also consists of what is known as crew escape system. What is crew escape system? When the rocket is launched and something goes wrong, rocket to blast ho jata hai na, but we, we cannot allow humans to get into trouble. So, there is a crew escape system which will quickly able to separate this crew from rest of the rocket. So, so that has also been tested, that has also been developed. Then there is orbital model. Ek to rocket ho gaya. Rocket ke saath crew escape system at the top of it. Then there is orbital module. Orbital module, see, 
let us say this is the this is the rocket, it will take orbital module to space and this orbital module will revolve around earth, rocket will not revolve around earth, rocket will just take them to orbit and the orbital module will revolve around. In this orbital module, we will have crew module, where crew is there, this crew module should be such that the temperature, pressure and the other basic requirements, basic human needs can be taken care of, wo haan pe khana kha paayenge, wo haan pe nature's call attend kar paayenge, sab ho, crew module would have all that. It will also have parachutes, when it will be coming back on earth, it should be able, able to open its parachute to land slowly. It will also have an environment control and life support system, ECLSS, it will have a genoid, genoid is a, uh, it is a female, it is a female feminine robot. Initially, two of the launches of Gaganyaan will be uncrewed, humans will not be going, robots would be going and there would be various sensors on their body by which will measure what is the maximum temperature, what is the maximum acceleration, what is the maximum pressure that they faced. Agar unho maximum temperature 100 degree face kiya, we cannot send humans in that condition, right. Then uh, there will also be, so dekho, uh, the orbital module will have two components, one is crew module, other is service module. Orbital module something that will be revolving, it will have a crew module and then it will have a service module. Service module kya karega? Service module will provide basic services, for example, it will have propulsion system. Propulsion system kyo? Rocket ne aapko ek jaya chhod diya, you are orbiting. But suppose you want to in go to a bigger orbit, propulsion system will be able to help you. When you want to come back on earth, land on earth, again you will have to change your direction, propulsion system will help. But it is not part of crew module, it is part of service module which are both part of orbital module. These are the various components that have been developed, then uh, there are precursor missions that we have launched, they say there is integrated air drop test, there is pad abort test, there is uh, test vehicle flights, where test vehicle flights mein we uh, tested various engines of LVM 3, we human rated them. Then in these test integrated air drop test, landing properly, pad abort test, in case of accident how abort takes place, all these kind of test, uh, test have been done. Crew training facility has been developed in Bangalore, please note crew training facility has been developed in Bangalore, where some basic training is being given. But for advanced training, people are still being sent to Russia. Then uh, we have also developed capabilities of uh, uh, recovering astronauts safely. There are some other things that uh, that has been done for making Gaganyaan successful. One is Sakhi, Space Born Assistance and Knowledge Hub for Crew Interaction. It is an app which has been developed by uh, Vikram Sarabhai Space Center that will help astronauts in Gaganyaan to keep looking up at vital information, body temperature, pressure, surrounding situation, wo sari season, Sakhi will be able to help them in doing that. Pilots have also been selected, who will be going for training. So, in February 2024, name of the four pilots uh, were uh, uh, made public. Then uh, way back in 2018, when Prime Minister Modi had announced this for the first time, Gaganyaan mission, 10,000 crore rupees were allocated as budget for this these are all the things that have been done under Gaganyaan mission. Now, bahut sare test, bahut sare experiments aur bhi hoi hain, but my point is, even this is more than what is needed. Aapko jab 250 words mein answer likhna hoga, what is Gaganyaan, what is its significance, discuss its key components. Will this not be enough? This will be way more than enough, then why do we have to study everything else in a lot of detail? A debate based question aa sakta hai, so, do you think spending thousands of crores of rupees in sending hum, three humans to space and bringing them back is suitable for a developing country like India? Wahan pe bhi you should be able to explain why Gaganyaan is very significant, wahan pe conclusion will be different, so, while ensuring that food reaches every household in the country is crucial, but at the same time it is very important to ensure that in science and technology we do not remain backwards.